rankings how do Cousins, Robertson I. Injuries impact Western Conference. A weekend of marquee matchups, potential playoff previews and down to the wire finishes was dwarfed by injuries to New Orleans Pelicans all-star Demarcus Cousins and Oklahoma City Thunder defensive stopper Andre Robertson, who are both done for the season. While this was yet another reminder of the often cruel and unusual nature of sports, it also has the potential to significantly impact the Western Conference playoff race. With the All-Star break fast approaching, here's how we view the league's current power structure. Voters, listed at the bottom of this page, include NBA reporters from across the USA Today network. 1. Golden State Warriors, 40-10, last week, won the Warriors who have an 11-2 record this month, are shooting 50.9% from the field this season, the highest mark of any team since Utah in 1994-95, according to Basketball Reference. 2. Houston Rockets, 35-13, last week, two with a league-leading 751 three-pointers made, Golden State is second at 591, the Rockets, who have won five of their last six games are well on their way to breaking their NBA record of 1,181 makes, which was set last season. 3. Boston Celtics, 35-15, last week, 3 yes, the Celtics have lost 5 of their last 6 games and have the league's 28th ranked offense during that span, but Saturday night's game against Golden State was another example of Boston standing among the NBA's elite, even in a loss. Four. Toronto Raptors, 33-15, last week, for the Raptors, who are on pace for the most wins in franchise history, are now just one game behind Boston for first place in the East. 5. San Antonio Spurs, 33-19, last week, 6 DeJount Murray, San Antonio's point guard of the future, has thrived since being inserted back into the starting lineup last week, averaging 12.4 points on 51% shooting, 8 rebounds, 5 assists and 2.2 steals in 5 games. 6. Minnesota Timberwolves, 32-20, last week, 5 things are heating up in the Northwest Division, as the Timberwolves are now just one game ahead of Oklahoma City for 4th place in the Western Conference, they do, however, own the head-to-head -head tiebreaker. 7. Oklahoma City Thunder, 30-20, last week, 7. The value Robertson brings as a perimeter defender, especially alongside Defensive Player of the Year candidate Paul George, is no secret, as his defensive rating of 96.4 is the highest in the NBA among players who average at least 20 minutes per game. Now the Thunder, who have won 8 games in a row, must decide whether they're better suited making a move at the February 8th trade deadline or experimenting with their current roster. 8. Cleveland Cavaliers 29-19, last week, 10 while the week was overshadowed by storylines surrounding the relationship between Isaiah Thomas and Kevin Love, the Cavs won back-to-back -back games for the first time since mid-December. 9. Miami Heat, 28-21, last week, 8 the Heat have averaged an NBA worst 91 points in their last three games, two of which have been losses. 10. Washington Wizards 27-22, last week, 9 The Wizards started off the week with one of their worst performances of the season, a 98-75 loss to Dallas, and ended it with one of their best, a 129-104 win over Atlanta. 11. Portland Trail Blazers, 27-22, last week, 11 The Blazers are averaging just 6.6 .6 fast break points per game this season the lowest of any team since 2006-07. 12. New Orleans Pelicans, 27-22, last week, 13 Cousins injury couldn't have come at a worse time for the Pelicans, who had won six of their last seven games and were, at long last, looking like a legitimate playoff team. They have the talent to stay in the thick of things and slip into the postseason but is a likely first-round exit at the hands of a Golden State or a Houston enough to keep this core intact? What about the coaches or the front office? Will the Pelicans look to add another piece at the trade deadline? The direction of the franchise could very well be shaped in the next few months.
13. Milwaukee Bucks, 26-22, last week, 16 the Bucks are 3-0 since Joe Prunty replaced Jason Kidd and have already taken on the personality of their new head coach, according to Chris Middleton. With Joe, he's a lot more relaxed, much more of a pick-a-guy-up type of guy and you kind of see that with the guys out here, Middleton said after Sunday's win over Chicago. 14. Indiana Pacers, 27-23, last week, 12 Saturday night's game against Orlando marked yet another come-from-behind victory for the Pacers, who now have three wins on the season in games in which they've trailed by 21 or more points. A loss would have been their second in a row and fourth in their last six games. 15. Philadelphia 76ers, 24-22, last week, 14 The Sixers are 7-3 this month. Boast a league best net rating of 10.2 and trail only Golden State with a true shooting percentage of 59.3. Two of those losses, though, have come in their last four games. 16. Denver Nuggets, 26 23, last week, 17. The Nuggets, winners of their last three games, are set to embark on one of their toughest stretches of the season, with Boston, San Antonio. Oklahoma City and Golden State on tap. 17. Los Angeles Clippers, 25-24, last week, 15 three consecutive losses, though followed by two straight wins, puts the Clippers back out of the top eight in the West, one game behind Denver. 18. New York Knicks, 22-28, last week, 19 the trade deadline will be a moment of truth for the Knicks who are once again mired in mediocrity but have a handful of solid veterans who could help teams that are in the playoff picture. 19. Utah Jazz, 21-28, last week, 21 The Jazz, who have won three of their last four, are shooting just 35.8% from the post this season, the lowest of any team since the NBA began tracking such data in 2013-14. 20. Detroit Pistons 22-26, last week, 18 The longest losing streak in the NBA belongs to the Pistons, who have now dropped 8 straight and are 3 games behind Philadelphia for the 8th seed in the East. 21. Charlotte Hornets, 20-28, last week, 27 of Charlotte's 9 games before the All-Star break will be played on the road, where they've only won 6 games, in 20 tries, this season. 22. Los Angeles Lakers, 1930, last week, 23 The Lakers, who had won four in a row for the second time this month before Sunday's loss to Toronto, rang classed in the NBA in both three-point percentage, 32.7, and free-throw percentage, 68.7. 23. Chicago Bulls, 1832, last week, 22 The Bulls have lost their last four games each of which have been played without Chris Dunn, who's still in the NBA's concussion protocol after his scary fall against Golden State on January 17.24. Brooklyn Nets, 1832, last week, 24 Jalen Kaffer, who had played just 145 total minutes since being traded to the Nets in early December, put together his best performance of the season on Saturday tallying 21 points and 6 rebounds in just 24 minutes. Could this be the start of more playing time for the former number 3 overall pick? 25. Memphis Grizzlies, 1731, last week, 27 with Saturday's announcement that Mike Conley will undergo heel surgery and be shut down for rest of the season, any hope of the Grizzlies extending their postseason streak to 8 was shut down as well. 26. Dallas Mavericks, 16-34, last week, 26 though their 34 losses are tied for the second most in the NBA, the Mavs have only lost those games by an average of 8.8 .8 points, the sixth lowest margin in the league. 27. Phoenix Suns, 17-33, last week, 25 the Suns may not be stuck in their rebuild for much longer, according to general manager Ryan McDonough who said the team is ready to accelerate their timeline and be aggressive in free agency this summer. 28. Sacramento Kings, 1534, last week, 30 It was another week of growth for Adia Aaron Fox, 
who slammed home a game-winning putt back against Miami on Thursday and scored a career-high 26 points, on 6 for 6 from 3, against San Antonio on Sunday. 29. Orlando Magic, 1434. Last week, 28 The Magic, who led the NBA through the first nine games of the season with a three-point percentage of 42.1, have been the second worst in the league since making just 33.4% of their attempts. 30. Atlanta Hawks, 1435, last week, 29 a loss to Minnesota on Monday would mark Atlanta's fifth losing streak of four or more games this season. This week's voters, USA Today Sports Sam Amick, Jeff Zilgent, Michael Singer and Ajnu Harthkus, Detroit Free Press Vince Ellis, the Indianapolis Stars Clifton Brown, Milwaukee Journal Sentinels Matt Velasquez, Hoops Hypes Jorge Sierra and Raul Barrigan.